Gamers, the future is here. We have devices that let us play video games with our eyeballs. There's only one major problem though. This kind of sucks. The resolution's not that good. It's kind of blurry, and reading text, you're looking through a screen door, basically. But gamers, the time has come. Behold, the Valve Index. <laughs> okay, I'm taking this off now. You actually stayed in frame. Yes! Right there. So this is my first time actually seeing one of these things. I've been using my Vive for a very long time. Very being from my point of view, I guess, because I've only had it maybe a year or so, a little over a year. But that's pretty much the highest end VR system I've used. I've used a Vive Pro. I've used it maybe twice, three times maybe. For that short moment that I was using it, I wasn't actually able to really judge and compare versus the original Vive. But now I got this in hand. So you might be able to tell the thing kind of fell open already. This isn't my first time opening this thing. So when you first open this, you can see the three main components. You can see the Knuckles controllers, you can see the upgraded base stations, and then the index itself. Let's start with kind of the kind of the boring stuff, I guess. These are the new base stations, and I actually have the original base stations up here. The big difference you can tell, you can see when you compare the two, is that these ones are completely square, whereas these ones have a little bit more rounded of a field of view. So that's gonna help project the IR emitted light that comes from the base station itself. The good thing about the index is that you can actually use base station 1.0s, where this is the 2.0 model. So you can actually buy the index kit with just the headset and the knuckles controllers instead of having to pay the extra, what is it, 250? 150 get... per base station. 150 per base station, yes. This is actually my first time holding these things. And these things are like way lighter than I was expecting. Oh my God. Hold on, let me get one of these for comparison. This is weird. When I first picked this thing up, I thought it was actually way lighter than this one, but they actually feel very similar. I'm so used to holding this kind of controller versus this one. With the original Vive controllers, you had your big old touchpad, your kind of pause button, your menu button, your trigger, and then your side buttons. Whereas with this one, you have dedicated A and B buttons. Okay, so then this little thing down here is just the, uh, what's it called? The strap adjust, I guess. Yeah, that just resets it if you need to. So you can tighten it up. And then it comes with an actual joystick. A lot of people really wouldn't, would have preferred to have an official joystick rather than just this touchpad. It does come with a uh, miniature touchpad right here where your yeah. thumb rests. Because mm -hmm. each of these are bi-directional buttons when you click in game. Oh, so the touchpad, it does have buttons as well. Yes. So okay. when you reload in a yeah. H3 VR, you have to slide your thumb and push down to uh, actually eject your magazine. Okay, very cool. The big player of the game here is the index itself. And like, oh my God, this thing is like, this thing is pretty. Okay, so it actually comes with display port now, whereas the original Vive only came with HDMI. That's good because in my case, my graphics card only has one HDMI port, but my TV also uses HDMI. So I have to use an adapter for that. And then it's also got your USB 3.0 or 3.1. I'm going to say it's 3.0. I don't yeah, know. I believe it is 3.0. Okay. And then this is the uh, power connector for it. This is so the power. Okay. You have an external brick on the further on the inside. Of the headset or inside the box? Inside the box. Inside the box. Okay. It does feel maybe a little heavier, but maybe that's just because it has the big head strap on the back of it. Oh, look at all this. <laughs> It's even more pretty. So this goes, I'm imagining here? Yeah. Wow. It actually stays in there surprisingly. Yeah. I might just want to keep that in because of how comfy it is. What else? This is... Those are the okay, charging cables. USB-C uh... charging cables. Then your wall mounts for your base stations. Uh, we're going to leave those in for now. What would this be? Is this perhaps another space cushion? That no, is the, uh, that's the cable to power the index. So we so will need, need this to hook this up, right? Yes. Okay. So, oh, interesting. Oh, so it's an adapter. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Okay. So if you ship it to say like a foreign country, yeah. so, uh, the UK has a different power outlet. That's why they do that. Yeah. That's smart. Good job, Valve. Okay, so let's start taking this down, I guess. Okay, pull this whole thing off to the side. We're gonna need the power brick. 
I'm not gonna need my adapter, display port, and USB. Oh, I heard it connect. We're setting up generic USB hub. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh my god. Remember to adjust the earphones too. Yeah. So they're like perfect. What do I want to play? Okay. Uh I'm just gonna go nuts. Oh, this is weird. Hold on. Yeah, I noticed that the blades of the uh of the sabers are like more pointed back at me. I will say that right now, I'm not like I'm not seeing a huge like uh what's it called? I'm not seeing a huge refresh rate increase. But then again, the vibe runs at 90. So it's like, it's not even that low. I played this song when I went to a uh, LTX 2019 because the uh, the Oris booth, they had a uh, Vive Pro set up. It was really cool. It was very wholesome because there was a lot of people like just experiencing it for the first time. And they're like, wow, this is cool. And then I go in and I go and play this song and I just went freaking nuts. Oh. So, <laughs> would you like to go ahead and then try 144 hertz and see if your score of 429,473 increases, or are you whipped? Um, we could try it real quick. I don't know if I'm seeing all that big of a difference from 120, but something tells me I want to say this is smoother. Like, it is, it is factually smoother. 144 hertz is faster than uh, 120 hertz. Yeah, so you're always going to feel a difference. Even though you won't see it, you will just feel it happen. Because it's not a jump like you're going from 60 to 144. Every exactly. VR headset has always been a high refresh rate. So the change automatically into a high refresh rate might not be that noticeable. But you'll get a feeling like when you step back down. Oh, I had over a 300 combo. <laughs> and again, that could be that 144 hurt mode. It very well could be. On the verge of breaking 500k, and there it oh. is. Oh, I did it! Oh my god! No way! Now... Would you say that that's the 144 hertz of the headset or skill? It very well might be, because that is, that's that, what, that's... Is that your new record? That is a new 30, high score. 30,000 points higher? Yeah. I was at, what, 489? Yeah. So a little under, what, maybe 25,000 points more. I was not expecting that. I'm, like, actually surprised. Because, like I said, 120 is not that big of a jump, or 144 is not that big of a jump from 120. There's not a whole lot of difference there. Like I said, I do definitely know the resolution difference, but that would be really good in uh, in like shooters and stuff when you can see people way out in the distance. So go ahead and look over to your right. It will be in your input options. Yes, for the options panels. And then at the bottom right, you can see it's super secret. Enable super advanced tracked meat technology index only. Oh God. There it is. This is horrifying. <laughs> your fully tracked meaty fingers in all their glory that's so nasty picking up a gun with that and reloading it is probably the worst thing i've ever done in this game so go ahead and have fun with that <laughs> this is so weird just look at it go that's so weird another thing is i'm not sure if you're aware of this but the uh how hard you grab the controllers is actually an interaction you can do so the harder you grip the controller, the more your fingers will curl in. Yeah, so like I'm just barely touching it right now, and then I can go full fist. Yeah, you can actually squeeze it, and you should feel haptic feedback. Yeah, okay. So go ahead and try to <laughs> reload a gun. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh. So if you're not comfortable with using the grip buttons, you can just hold in the trigger and it's the same thing for a grip in case if, it, if it's a little too much. <laughs> <laughs> this is so weird. Oh, so like, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so with the original, where are you? Are you here? Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. So with the with the original Vive controllers, um, 
in order to like hold a gun in H3 VR, you had to grab the side buttons, and if you clicked on it, it would just stay in your hand. So like, if like I'm holding it like this, right? You can in the settings menu force how the controllers work. Okay. So you can force it to either work like the uh, the touch controllers for the Oculus, or you could have it back to the OG Vive. Yeah. And how that control scheme works, but for me, this is just comfortable because you're literally just holding onto the controller with your weird meaty fingers. I guess. So how do I? No, that's fire selector. Oh. Wait. Oh. Oh. Oh God. If you want to get rid of the meaty fingers, you can, because it does get kind of confusing with them out. But you'll have to restart the uh, level. Oh, I can't see! There's, like, hot dog in my eyeballs. Oh, God! Stay down! I can't see! I forget, what was the... Weapon that I liked. Claymore? It was, I think it was a big thing. I think it was this thing. No, I think I did dual handed. Hold on. I think I had dual handed axes. Or did I have a sword? I had a little sword. Was it this? No, that's a common dagger. I think this was it. I had some sort of sword last time. I don't remember. Eh. Oh god. Oh god. He's besting me. Oh god, it's brutal. Okay, so, what do I think of the Valve Index? I think it's a fantastic leap for VR. I really appreciate the higher resolution. The higher refresh rate is phenomenal. It's, it's so satisfying to go and play games like, oh god! <laughs> Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> Look at him go! He's breakdancing! <laughs> okay. So. The reasons I like the index. <laughs> <laughs> the increased refresh rate is super cool. The increased resolution is very nice. Especially for seeing things like enemies at a distance. Oh no! Like that guy. <laughs> yeah! I really enjoy the head mount and the, uh... Right, not the head mount, the, uh, the, like, the head strap itself. Oh god! Oh god! Um, I think this is super convenient having this knob here. Now, I know you can also get the, uh, the deluxe audio strap with the regular Vive. And it it does a lot that the uh, the head strap <laughs> screwing up my words. I keep getting distracted. Again. Okay, so what else do I like about the index? The the head strap. I really like this. Uh, I really like the head strap for the mounting capabilities of it, and the. Uh, the original Vive had the deluxe audio strap, which was, I, it was physically similar because it came with the built-in uh, headphones. And I will admit, the headphones on this sound really good, and they're not even really, oops, I'm sorry, they're not even really headphones, they're more speakers than anything. Oh, oh god.
Oh god, step off! So otherwise, I think that's pretty much going to do it for now, if I had to wrap this video up because it's getting kind of long. So I'm going to get back to stabbing people. Bring me, oh good, give me this.